Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, the Arkansas RC Newbie, and on today's episode we got an all new, not crawler, uh, Drifter. This is the Power Craze Drifter Plus Performance Drifting RC Vehicle 128th scale. We're going to do a little initial impressions on today's episode. This was a Costco buy, bought this thing for like $28, 18 miles per hour, speeds over, with an asterisk. We're going to check this thing out, see what it comes with, see if we can get this battery charged up. Next episode, you better believe we're going to be hitting that 18 mile an hour mark. All right, so please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Okay, guys, let's open this thing. Again, it was like 28 bucks at Costco. They have a blue one. They've got the red one. Um, apparently this thing has a set of four cones to set up your own drift course. Indoors, outdoors, with, I think it comes with different tires, some tools. Um, it advertises that it's got four by four suspension, watch out. Ultra fast acceleration, uh, true all wheel drive for amazing control. Drift racing at its best, ages eight and plus. Uh, skill level is easy, which is good because I've never owned a um, a drifter before, but it's a really cool looking body. Like that is just super neat looking. All right, let's open this guy up. Okay, so we get this guy off of here. All right, so it does come with uh, four drift cones. I'm looking forward to setting me up a little drift course, man. This is gonna be too cool. And we have got some weird little clips here. Okay, and here is the truck. Dude, that thing is just too cute looking. 128 scale, super low, really aggressive looking body on it. Drifter, again, they've got this thing in the red. Oh yeah, and check out the wheels. Oh, we got a decent, servo sounds pretty good in there. We've got a decent amount of turning radius, which I would imagine you would really want for a drifter, right? Especially being four wheel drive. You have to read the directions on how to take the body off. All right, we're gonna figure out how the heck to take that body off. Let's set this guy to the side. Let's see what comes in the box. All right, so first thing we got is going to be a user or instruction manual. We're definitely going to need to get that and see how the heck to take that body off. Uh, silica pack. Dude, this is cool. So I think this is going to be the charger uh, via USB. And I don't know what kind of connector that is. That thing is tiny. I was hoping it was going to be a, a C, you know, a type C plug. All right, we've got a little tool, looks like, so we can take these wheels off of this guy. It actually feels decent quality. It's, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> And then we have got these tires here, which these tires here are rubber. And those things are probably going to grip pretty well. So maybe the ones that are on it right now are plastic. That's what you want for drifting, right? Pretty neat design. And they're gray tires. Kind of interesting. Let's fill these tires. Okay. So these are rubber as well, our, our foam, the black set. All right. We have got the transmitter, which is pretty simple. You guys see the transmitter there? Uh, it does have the trim adjustment. Okay, it feels very cheap, very chintzy. Uh, we've got shift speed. I think this thing has like three levels of speed, which we'll be testing out on the real-time review when we get this thing uh, drifting after we get the battery charged up. Of course, we've got the uh, power there, and then we've got the steering wheel. Okay. The very cool thing about this setup is it comes with batteries, so this thing is like truly ready to run. I'm sure there's some juice in there. All right, so this thing is not intended, um, apparently, to take the body off. Now, we do have, I believe headlights and tail lights. All right, so we've got the headlights there. I'm guessing it doesn't blink whenever it links up with the uh, transmitter. Headlights, we got a little light bar action on the top. And then the tail lights aren't working. Maybe whenever you hit the brake, the tail lights will work. But we also have a little light bar up here that flashes red. So that's kind of cool. The camera will focus. Pretty neat looking. Um, again, I don't think this body is intended to come off. I just pried the back off of there. And the body clips work, but there's no like C-clips or anything like that. So let's pry this top part off and hopefully we don't break anything. Okay, there we go. We've got all of the electrical, of course, going to all the different light bars and all that good stuff up top. And then the body is pretty... Oh, let's unplug that. There we go. All right, now the uh, chassis, if you will, of the body is pretty straightforward. Looks like it's pretty protected. This thing does not say that it is waterproof. So I would worry about taking this thing out in the mud and getting it dirty. Uh, looks like we've got the battery up top, which I like because, and I don't know if you can get, um, you know, upgraded parts for this thing or maybe upgraded batteries. What I like about that battery placement is it looks like we can actually replace it because it plugs in right below that. Uh, again, we have the suspension here. They're really proud of the four-wheel drive suspension on this guy. 
and you can see all right so it's not just one like drive shaft that drives everything right they're actually will spin freely the tires will that is neat i do wish that you could just take the body off without having to pry and peel everything but let's get the sky plug back in we'll power it on and see what we got costco man knows how to do it up the speed adjust here there's three levels of speed adjust on this and we'll mess with that right now so we've got the red light blanket Okay, and everything went solid. Cool, man. Okay, now the tail lights are actually working. So let's do this. Let's mess with this servo. See how the steering is. Okay, that's not that's not bad. It's decently quick. I'm guessing for drifting, you really need some fast hands and some fast response time with that servo. So that definitely could be worse. I'm I'm actually impressed on how how fast that servo is. Is it strong though? Let's hold these tires. Okay, so it's decently strong. That's not bad. I mean, it's enough to torque with that pressure of my fingers and uh, whip out the tail end. All right. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit this brake and we see if these tail lights light up anymore. Yep, they do. You guys see that? Cool. If we go forward, do the headlights get brighter? I hope not. No. Okay. So I'm going to be messing with my speed adjustment here. You guys see that speed adjustment? We're going to hit the throttle, and we're going to mess with the speed. Low. Medium. High. Okay. Now it says beginner to advanced users. We'll probably mess with this thing, all the three levels of speed. But it does come with a little bit of juice. Um, let's kind of mess with it here a little bit. Loud on the lever. That's like a little bitty. Uh, this thing is definitely brushed. A <laughs> little bit on the reverse. Oh, this thing just wants to go. This right here is gonna be a fun little project, guys. Well, um, man, I think that's it. Charging cord. Uh, again, we've got a little tool to take the tires off um, and swap those out. I wish that was a USB C and not that weird funky one. Just in case we lose this guy, we always lose these. Um, but that is the Drifter Plus, uh, the power craze from um, from Costco. I mean, if you guys are interested in watching the real-time review, we get this thing out. We do a little bit of drifting with it. Hopefully, everything goes good with that. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, please, and uh, turn on notifications on so you guys don't miss that episode. But yeah, 28 bucks. I mean, pretty good gift. And again, it comes with red and blue. So if you want to get a couple of kids or something like that, you got some buddies that you want to race with, you want to get a couple and have a little uh, drift off, I guess we'll call those. You want to race for pinks. Uh, man, you can get a couple different bodies. But all right, guys, that's another Arkansas RC Newbie episode. Appreciate you guys watching. We will see you on the next one.